watch radio. As you can imagine, they they don't let us out much. Hold on to your butt. I watch radio. Great success. I watch radio. Oh, uh, what's that? Yeah, what is that? Now you can see what we're talking about. Yeah. Well, obviously you've got chops, and with the acting chops that I you have... I got some gigs, I got some gigs. Yeah, and that's really, really, really cool of you to be able to pull that off. Is there something where if we could completely disassociate the idea that uh, you're able to pull off Tom Cruise where you do, if we just make it about Evan, is there a kind of role, or is there something you're really waiting to sink your teeth into, the ultimate role, the ultimate performance, what would that be? It's funny, I used to, th I used to wrap my head around that question when I was actively pursuing acting, but since I'm... My mind is just not in it anymore. I mean, I, I love it. I love performing. I, I absolutely, I'm a musician too. I love getting on stage and entertaining. Um, so I haven't really given that question much thought in, in years. So on the spot, I really don't know. I mean, you know, I would love to play an Indiana Jones type character, an, a romantic action adventure, romancing the stone kind of thing. I think that'd be really fun. Um, you know, anything, you know, I'm not ready to do anything uh, method acting or I'm not Sir Lawrence Olivier quality stuff, but, you know, I certainly um, am up for. Um, Gossip Girl, nice. XOXO, nice. or some. No, I'm just kidding. But I, uh, you know, any any opportunity is a great one, and I just love meeting new people and networking and you know growing my my friendship base and in, in this in this godforsaken business, you know. This godforsaken business. So it, it, is it there... can be tough out here. It can be tough in LA. You know, it could be uh, people don't return calls. I was just reading um, Kid Stays in the Picture for my second time. It's it's an incredible book. I don't know if you read it, but um, Robert Evans. You know, is one of the best producers in the world. Has done incredible films like Rosemary's Baby and everything. You know, everything else. And without and, Robert Evans, man, we wouldn't have The Godfather. What's the mean? Well, and exactly, and yeah. The Godfather, of course. And for 15 years, though, there was a point where he was not. I mean, he was in, he got into drugs and stuff, and there were some cases against him. But no one would return his calls. This legendary producer, and you know, to think how hard it is for people who aren't Robert Evans out here. You know. It's it's just it's really amazing to me, and and he was so courageous of him to write that book and do the movie and put himself out there like that. I mean, it was very therapeutic, I'm sure. But anyway, it's a tough business. That's that's my point. Well, I, I've heard that, and I mean, obviously, there's no way for me to try and be empathetic because I mean, I've got no point of reference. You know, it's like God, you know, I feel. But if I were out there in the trench with you, then you could say, oh yeah, I mean, I get the guy's sympathy for it. I don't know how you do it because it's almost like the ultimate sales gig, right? Because it's all about you and selling who you are. And, yeah. And it's all 100% commission. You don't get the gig. I mean, and, you know, bottom line is, in order to be successful in this business, what I've learned is you got to be so passionate about, a, a, like as a producer, passionate about a, um, a script or some idea. And then you have to um, you know, dispense that passion to another party in the same magnitude that you feel it. Right. And if you, if you can't do that, then you probably are working with the wrong project and probably settling. So you really have to find something that you truly and utterly believe in and you'll go the distance with. And then you have to tell, and then you have to convince other people that it's worth getting involved in, you know, which is very hard, very hard. So basically, if you're going to go in, you want to go all in. Otherwise, you shouldn't go at all. I mean, it, it's I mean, there, there are ways, if, you know, there are ways where you luck out, I guess, but you can't, you can't bank on luck, you know. You got, I think the people who really make it in this business are not the ones who are just discovered on the street or just, you know, are picked out of a pool like Robert Evans, you know, although he, of course, showed great skill and, and talent, but um, are the people who... Um, are persistent and of course of course talented and smart and and the ability to to um, to locate and, and find uh, talent in a script or an actor sorry helicopters here you know well, it's, found the, me it's all the paparazzi I mean they're all over you I can understand we'll be gone in a second <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of helicopters in LA too I don't know why that is but um, but anyway my, my point is it's just uh, you got you just got to believe in it and 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 be persistent and not give up because especially with acting there's a lot of people who come out here you know from the midwest or whatever or even from new york but i'm just you know saying a lot of people who have these hopes and dreams and then they they try it for 6 months realize how difficult it is and then just throw in the towel you can't you can't do that i mean it, it's it's going to take time and people don't realize that you know people don't get that Right, they're, then, they go out and if it's, yeah, they, 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 they go out. I mean, if you already, if you made the trek to go out there and you made the trip, you've already invested to run away. You've just forsaken, what, the last six months of your life, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I, I hate those stories, but, you know, but then there's a lot, you know, there, I have some friends who 
aren't tremendously successful in the business as an actor, but they are hustling every day and they are doing community theater and, you know, doing commercial work or they're auditioning every second of the day, always hustling. And I really respect that. You know, they're not just talking about it. They're not just saying, hey, which headshot do you like of mine? Which, let me tell you about my callback that I went on. I mean, they talk about other things, which is very refreshing out here. I watch radio. As you can imagine, they, they don't let us out much. Hold on to your butt. I watch radio. Great success. I watch radio. Uh, what's that? Yeah, what is that? Now you can see what we're talking about.